some other notes about installing these Infinity by Bespoke Curve Stairless. You're going to use the drawing that comes with the unit and everything's going to be in millimeters. Hop on a web browser on your phone and type in millimeter to inches converter. You want to look at the height from the tread to the top of the post. You need to convert that measurement first to inches. Round up, round down, get close. Eighth, quarters, halves, full inches, and then set the height of all your brackets. Then once you've got your height set, go back, convert the distance from the wall uh, to the center of the rail uh, from millimeters to inches, and then set your brackets. Then take, you know, two inch just construction screws and tack in the whole unit. Go up to the top. Ride the carriage on. The way to ride the carriage on, turn the power on, use the remote. The remote will drive it down. Be careful and keep an eye on the rack and pinion that everything's lined up. Take your time driving it on. Uh, once it's driven on, then you're going to go into programming mode. The programming mode, you're going to want to drive the unit down a couple feet, or actually down to the bottom charging station. You're going to turn the unit on, hit the red scroll button until you get to watch my programming video. At that point, watch my programming video. Um, outside of that, then once you run it up and down, make sure you set your speed low around the curve, high on the straightaways. Um, then you want to set your brackets, your stop brackets. Um, that's also in the other video on these units on where to set those stop brackets. You do have to drill your own holes into the rail and, uh, and screw these units, uh, the stop brackets, to the rail. That does not come pre-drilled from the factory. Outside of that, everything lined up and fit like a glove. Really, really nice. Um, I didn't have to get a saw out, a drill out. Everything lined up. Uh, another trick, there's going to be pins. Uh, that you have to hammer through the holes of the brackets. The unit comes with grease. First, grease those pins. Then you'll notice they're hollow. Stick a really skinny Allen key through the hole and then through the pin. That tiny Allen key will guide that pin into the hole on the other side of the rail. Otherwise, they go in, they get a little bit skewed. We learned the hard way and they don't line up with the hole on the other side. With the Allen key, it helps to fish it right through, and then it'll penetrate the hole on the other side. With that, with the grease, it went so easy. Um, what other tricks can I document right now? We did that. Uh, you wanna pay attention to the polarity, um, meaning our cable at the top and the bottom was blue and brown. We put the brown on the gold section of the charging strip and the blue on the silver section of the charging strip. That way, if our polarity was wrong, we just had to reverse it at the transformer. Uh, so that made it, I mean, that was very simple. We got it right the first time, um, so we didn't have to reverse anything. Uh, the unit comes with all of the um, crimp on adapters, uh, comes with all of the bolts. Um, we did have to tapcon because ours landed on a basement slab at the bottom. So we needed tapcons there for the final post. Um, outside of that, awesome install. Goes super smooth and everything was laser precise, fit like a glove.